Que ahora, and welcome to Quick Clips. I'm Annie Benzonelli, your host. Well, there is only one host, so um, I wanted to be clear anyway. Yesterday, I started my 100 subscribers in a month challenge, and so far I got 10. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. And if you're watching it for the first time and you like this content, please subscribe and uh, add yourself to the list of followers and be part of history. Also, don't forget to comment and let me know what you think about my videos. Constructive feedback, it's always welcome. The big news in New Zealand is that Jacinda Ardern, our Prime Minister, is pregnant. She is the first female head of a state in the southern hemisphere to be pregnant while she's in office. This is big news, this is great, and congratulations Jacinta. If you have read my about, you'll know that I am a Swiss born and I moved to New Zealand about 10 years ago, but I still have some connection to Switzerland. It's where I grew up and where I lived most of my life. With this political information where Jacinda is becoming the first female head of a state being pregnant while in office, I thought I'm gonna go and check a couple of fun facts between New Zealand and Switzerland and see how these two countries differentiate themselves. Switzerland is considered the image of democracy. In fact, it is. It's the only country where the population has a real power and can vote to any small decision the government is making. It's a complex mechanism, it's a big machine and takes time. I would say that democracy, or real democracy, it's uh, associated to slow times and some decision may take a longer period of time to be voted and to affect the population. Let's check out four very important political events um, that happen in New Zealand and in Switzerland and see the difference in between the two. So the first fact I want to talk about is first female prime minister. In New Zealand, the first female prime minister was Jenny Shipley in 1997. She replaced Jim Bolger or Bolger. Switzerland doesn't have a prime minister role like New Zealand. So I'm gonna compare it to the president of the confederation. And I have to say, there is not much difference in between these two, it's just two years, because in 1999, Ruth Dreyfus was elected the first president of the confederation. The second fact is the first female mayor. In New Zealand, the first mayor was elected in 1893 and was Elizabeth Bates. She was the mayor of Onehanga. In Switzerland, the first mayor was elected in 1968, over 70 years later. The first Swiss female mayor was Lise Girardin and was elected in Geneva, one of the first cantons to allow a woman to vote. My third topic is same-sex civil unions and same-sex marriage. And this is a very complicated topic. In uh, New Zealand, the first civil union law passed in 2003, and then uh, the country legalized same-sex marriage in 2013. Switzerland has recognized registered partnerships on a federal level in 2007, so just kind of four years after New Zealand. But so far, same-sex marriage in Switzerland isn't allowed. There is like a bill in discussion that may be uh, put on vote in 2019, but so far same-sex marriage isn't allowed. A curious fact is that at the beginning of this year, Switzerland adopted a bill allowing same-sex couples to uh, adopt stepchildren. New Zealand doesn't have specific barrier for LGBT couples to adopt children. The only restriction is that male individual cannot adopt a female child. Since the same-sex marriage law came to effect, same-sex married couple can adopt children. Same-sex cup unmarried couple and uh, same-sex civil union can also adopt children under a New Zealand High Court ruling in 2015. Here comes the big discrepancy between New Zealand and Switzerland. New Zealand has been the first country in the world allowing women to vote and that was in 1893. Switzerland allowed the first, the first vote to women in 1959, but only on a cantonal level, and that was canton vote. While on a federal level, women 
were allowed to vote since 1971. A fun fact is that one canton, Appenzell Inner Orden, never voted and never allowed women to vote. The federal tribunal had to go and step in and force them to allow women to vote. So I hope you enjoyed this fun fact between New Zealand and Switzerland. If you want me to do more of this content, please comment below and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video and um, follow me. Thank you so much and like Spock always said, live long and prosper. Bye!